India, on the 7th of June, successfully flight tested its new generation ballistic missile, Agni Prime, from Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam Island off the coast of Odisha. This was the first pre-induction night launch conducted by the users after three successful developmental trials of the missile, validating the accuracy and reliability of the system. Senior officials from Defense Research and Development Organization, or DRDO, and Strategic Forces Command witnessed the successful flight test, which paved the way for the induction of the system into the armed forces. Indian Defense Ministry said, During the flight test, all objectives were successfully demonstrated. Range instrumentation like radar, telemetry, and electro-optical tracking systems were deployed at different locations, including two downrange ships, at the terminal point to capture flight data covering the entire trajectory of the vehicle. Defense Minister Rajnath Singh also congratulated DRDO and the armed forces for the success as well as the copybook performance of the Agni Prime. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes why India's newest ballistic missile, Agni Prime, is a death knell for Chinese aircraft carriers. Let's get into the details. The Agni missile, Agni meaning fire, is a family of medium to intercontinental range ballistic missiles developed by India, named after one of the five elements of nature. Agni missiles are nuclear warhead capable, surface to surface ballistic missiles. The first missile of the series, Agni 1, was developed under the Integrated Guided Missile Development Program, IGMDP, and tested in 1989. The Agni P is a medium range ballistic missile and is widely seen as a successor for Agni-1 and Agni-2 missiles, and will be marshaled by Strategic Forces Command. As per the DRDO officials, as quoted by the news agency ANI, it can hit targets up to a range of 2,000 kilometers, that's 1,242 miles, and is very short and light in comparison with other missiles in this class. A lot of new technologies incorporated in the new missile. Due to the use of advanced materials, the Agni P is easier to be mounted on the chassis of a truck. The Agni Prime is specially tailored for road mobility and will be using Transporter Erector Launcher, TEL. TEL is a vehicle with an integrated prime mover that can carry, elevate to a firing position, and launch one or more missiles. The missile is stored in a hermetically sealed tandem twin canister launcher and transported through road and rail. It uses a cold launch mechanism and can be fired in salvo mode. Since the missile is ejected using a gas generator from the canister, the missile could be launched from any pre-surveyed launch location without the need for any pre-built launch site. This way, it will be hard for any adversary to neutralize the missile with a preemptive strike. As per some reports, the Agni Prime has multiple simultaneous guidance systems like ring laser gyroscope and inertial navigation system, optionally augmented by GPS and Indian Regional Navigation Satellite System IRNSS. Terminal guidance possibly has radar scene correlation. The multiple guidance systems make it very hard to jam. On the 15th of June 2019, Indian and Chinese soldiers clashed in eastern Ladakh's Galwan Valley along the LAC, or Line of Actual Control, between India and China. Though multiple talks between the two countries have taken place at different levels since then, tensions have been simmering. The conflict seems to have fundamentally changed India's view of China, and it's now aggressively arming itself. Agni Prime would contribute to India's sea-based capacity. It will act as an equalizer to China's DF-21D, which is touted to be the first anti-ship ballistic missile, and hence be a deterrence. The Agni-P missile with maneuverable re-entry vehicle, MARV, capability, 
can deliver the warheads to two separate locations. DRDO chief Dr. Avanash Chander has stated in an interview that the warheads can maneuver after re-entry. When Agni-P was first tested, South China Morning Post quoted Chinese defense analysts who compared India's Agni Prime with China's DF-21D. Song Zhongping, a Chinese military commentator and a former PLA instructor, stated at the time that Agni-P will need further testing to prove its anti-ship capability after the successful first firing. According to Indian defense experts, the deployment of Agni-P is seen as a step towards the ongoing development of an advanced anti-ship ballistic missile ASBM, system. This development aims to enhance India's future sea denial capability against Chinese carrier battle groups operating in the Indian Ocean region, or IOR. China developed DF-21D to undermine the U.S. Navy's capacity to dominate the Indo-Pacific on account of its much larger fleet of aircraft carriers, floating airfields that can exercise sea control. It feels it can take out an American carrier strike group with a salvo of 24 anti-ship ballistic missiles. To know more about that, check the video on the above card. With Agni-P, India seems to have turned the tables on China. It's to be noted that the strategic partnership between India and the U.S. has gotten stronger in the last few years with eyes on China. Few Agni-P, along with Brahmos, fired from Su-30 MKI from different vectors, could be too much for the Chinese carrier fleet to defend against. Considering the Indian perspective, it becomes even more imperative as Chinese state-controlled media previously asserted the need for Beijing to possess six aircraft carriers by 2035. This is also great news for the U.S. and its allies, like Japan, who are wary of China's long-term intentions. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting. And kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.